So today we're going to talk about uh, what is the molar mass of iron 3 oxide. Um, so I think these were the hardest ones on yesterday's activity. So I decided to do a quick little video on it. Um, what we're looking at is uh, iron oxide, and we need to know how many grams per mole uh, you would find uh, for iron oxide, which is different for all compounds because all compounds have different kinds of atoms. And one of the things I wanted you guys to kind of start exploring is every time you go to the periodic table, uh, every atom has a different number of protons, so every atom has a different atomic mass. So atomic mass is something that's unique to each atom, and so molar mass is something that's unique to each uh, compound. So uh, I wanted to talk about how uh, we could do this one. Uh, I wanted to remind you guys about some transition metals and what the Roman numerals stand for. Um, we need the formula, the correct formula, so that we can get the correct number of atoms of uh, oxygen and the correct uh, number of atoms of iron so that when we add up our atomic masses, we get the right solution. So that is our first step, is to get the formula for iron 3 oxide. So we're dealing with something like iron, something like oxygen, and we need to know what the charges of each are because we need to come up with a, a compound that's neutral. So to do that, um, we're going to look first at the Roman numeral because uh, although it might be confusing to you, I hope you guys are going to see it. It actually makes your life a little easier. It tells you the charge right there. You don't have to go to the periodic table or anything. Uh, Roman numeral 3 means iron is a 3 plus charge. That's it. So we have a 3 plus charge here. Now oxide, you're going to have to remember that it's part of this group, and this group was a 2 minus. All of them. These were 1 minus. The halogens, these are 3 minus. So uh, you got to remember negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and oxygen's right there with negative 2. So 2 minus. All right, well this uh, iron 3 plus plus oxide 2 minus does not add up to be 0. Let's maybe innocently try to add uh, whatever we need more of. It seems like we have too much positive. Let's try to add some more negative. So we add another oxygen. And now we have 2 minus and 2 minus, which is 4 minus, still to our 3 plus. So now we have more negative than positive. So maybe we add another positive one, which was 3 plus. And now we have 6 plus versus 4 minus. I hope you guys can see now that if we add one more oxide, we will have negative 6 to positive 6. This is now 0. And so the formula for iron 3 oxide is 2 of these and 3 of these. A neutral compound. Well, we needed this because now we know that we need to add 2 irons to three oxygens together, that would be the molar mass of iron oxide, iron three oxide. Well, uh, let me continue. Uh, try a different color too. So our formula is. Fe2O3, we're going to need to add iron and oxygen. We're going to need two of these irons. We're going to need three of these oxygens. Now it's time to go to the periodic table for these atomic masses. They come off of the periodic table. Iron is 55.845. So iron's a transition metal right in here. 55.845. Grams. And oxygen is 15.9994 grams. So we need to multiply these out, and then we need to add them up and uh, write it as an equivalent statement. Fifty five point eight four five times two is 111.69 grams. Uh, three oxygens, that's 15.9994 times three, 
is 47.9982. We add these up, we'll have the molar mass. I'm going to call it six, nine grams. Uh, we're almost done. 159.69 grams is, not, is just a number. We needed a molar mass. A molar mass is defined as the mass for a specific compound. The mass for a specific compound that would be found in one mole, this special dozen. So this is the answer. This is the molar mass of iron. This is the molar mass of, uh, of iron uh, three oxide. Uh, it is stated as an equivalence statement. This is a true statement. Uh, we will be making conversion factors out of it. Thank you.